I'm trying to develop a new field of science, which is mechanical biochemistry. I lead an interdisciplinary team of students and uh, postdocs uh, that uh, are attempting to develop uh, new tools to study the mechanics of protein dynamics and enzyme dynamics. In order to make uh, this work possible, we have to build our own instruments, uh, we have to write our own computer programming, we have to be able to develop uh, some of our own theory. So in my laboratory, I have people doing standard protein biochemistry, uh, engineering proteins for our experiments. I have uh, physicists doing theory. I have people with inclination to uh, do analog electronics and integrated circuit development and uh, electronic design in general. And this field has become possible because of new tools developed uh, in the last 20 or 30 years. The invention of the atomic force microscope was a crucial step in that direction. And I have, uh, together with colleagues over the past 15 years, developed uh, a number of uh, modifications of the atomic force microscope that allow me to study the effect of force on single individual proteins uh, for the first time. For the most part, people have been looking at solid state objects, so computer chips and, and, and uh, materials and you know, uh, metals and things like that. What we're doing here and what really Julio Fernandez has, has, has invented is a way of using uh, the same sort of basic equipment but tweaking it in such a way that now uh, not only can we see single molecules, so we get down to the level of instead of looking at a material sort of on a structural scale, we can look at the atoms and the bonds that make up these molecules. It's not just that we apply mechanical forces to proteins, but a key element is that we study these proteins at the single molecule level. Um, all tissues are made of a large number of molecules interacting with each other and it's very hard to isolate the properties of the individual components when you study them in such a complex arrangement. So it's better to pick them apart and study the properties of the individual components one at a time so that you can really understand their physics and then build some sort of an engineering model where you incorporate the physics of all the individual components and put them together into a functioning tissue. That's the promise of physiology. We also study how enzymes change their behavior in the presence of substrates that are exposed to a high force. Let's say that you get bitten by a dog on your leg. Not only the tooth is going to do damage to your tissues by breaking covalent bonds, but also the remaining tissue will be exposed to very high forces and that will change the activity of numerous enzymes in ways that have never been studied before. So the biology will respond to mechanical damage of any sort. If you break a bone or you get bitten or you have a solid tumor that grows in tissue, all of those are situations where there's a very high mechanical force being applied to the surrounding areas. And very little is known how the proteins in those areas respond and how their chemistry is affected. So um, we hope with these studies really to develop completely new concepts that are going to help in drug development, in treatment, and also in making uh, life better.